Welcome back to Small Town Big Ideas. I'm your host, Mr. Igo. We've got a special episode from Second Hour Intro to Ag here. I've got five freshman students, and one of them's telling me to go one way for introductions. Should I go the other way, Rylan? I think we should go with Rylan first. Oh, I did introduce Rylan first, huh? Okay. Rylan is our first uh, new co-host on the podcast. Rylan, give us something interesting. I live on a ranch. Oh, okay. And my last name is four letters. (laughs) M-A-U-S. Okay. Uh, (laughs) I apologize for the weirdness. That was interesting. Uh, And then we've got... Wyatt as well. Wyatt's over there, kind of microphoneless because we're having to share microphones today. Wyatt, give us something interesting. I have detention today. You have to. <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh, what did you do? No, nope, sometimes we get detention here at Weibo County High School, even if it, like, it was, sometimes things just happen and you regret it. But we move on. Uh, and then we've got Birch over there on the other side of the table. Birch, give us something interesting. I got my license about a month ago. Yeah. You've been driving to school each and every day? Yeah. Do you always bring your siblings to school? Most of the time. Are there days that you don't want to? Yeah. Well, so what's the thing that you've been tasked with since you got your driver's license? Because as a driver's ed teacher, it always interests me. Like a chore or something that you now have to do that you kind of wish you didn't, but because you have your license, you have to. Uh, not really anything yet. Really? You don't have to, like, run to the grocery? I get, you guys live, like, what, 35 outside of town, 35 miles? 25. 25? So... Like, you probably aren't making runs to the grocery store just to pick up a little bit of extra stuff for dinner. No. That was my least favorite thing when I got my license is my mom, can you go get some corn at the store? We need some green beans, too, and some Velveeta and then some chips, and can you just get the entire meal? And then I'd spend 20 minutes at Albertsons trying to look for Velveeta. Because you couldn't find it? And Velveeta is in the worst place every single time. It is never where it, it's not in the Hispanic section. It's not with the cheese. It's always, like, in the frozen foods or something. Don't it, Velveeta. If you I've can find it. I've never found Velveeta in the frozen food. I in Albertsons and Glendive, it's in this weird like almost it's right by the freezers. Sorry, weird. Did you, it's dumb. Did you say the Hispanic Velveeta? section? Yeah. <laughs> like the Hispanic foods. I didn't know those existed. Yeah, you need to go to the grocery store more often. And then we've got Riley over here. Riley, give us one interesting fact about yourself besides that you're a redhead. Uh socks and sandals are the best combination that is an unequivocal lie uh riley loves to wear burks and long socks and i think she just does it to bug me at this point not even because it's comfortable but just because she knows that for some reason i i just can't do it doesn't make sense to me and then we've got abby as our last new co-host here abby give us one thing we moved the pigs to their new location this weekend the pigs like your fair pigs yes how many well, there's three of them. One is Riley's, actually. Oh, we've got... Eh, you should have led with that, Riley. I like socks and sandals. Okay, that's more important than your fair project. They're high maintenance right now. What breed? Uh, mine's a Hampshire. What breed's yours, Riley? White. We have <laughs> got to work on that. Uh, yeah, it was kind of cold the other day, too, for some Piggly Wigglies. It was windy, Yesterday, and, yeah. windy and cold and frozen and not... They were spoiled yesterday. I took their water and food in the barn for them so they didn't have to go out. Oh, you're such a nice pig, Mom. Thanks. Uh-huh. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> today on the podcast, we're going to do something we've done on previous podcasts. We're going to talk about what we've done so far in Intro to Ag here, which is freshmen in their first year of high school. And then we'll uh, talk about what's coming up with the last little bit of the school year left. you guys know you only have like 32 days left? I tell you what, it's been a journey. I tell you what, he says. Tell you what, yeehaw. It it has been a journey. It's been a it's been a year for sure. So maybe we'll talk a little bit about that here in a second. But let's recap what we've done. So what did we start with? Livestock Uh, judging. Started with some livestock judging. So explain that a little bit more, everybody. What did we do during livestock judging? So the Keep talking. Hello? Hello? There okay. You go. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you get four animals on the screen. We judged them on our computers. And you, you place them on the way you think that they're good or not. So, for According exa- to what? According to 
things such as muscle, oh. fat, okay. looks, uh-huh. uh, cleanness. Uh-huh. And basically, so picture you have four cows, four cows, four steers. Is everybody whatever. picturing that? Picture. Oh, I you got it in your mind. Oh, I've got it in my head. Okay. So top left one's numero uno. Oh, is it like a square of them, top left? Yes. Okay, you got and it. And then top right is numero dos. Oh. Bottom left is numero tres. And bottom right is numero cuatro. So let's Did you guys say- know we we're also going to get a Spanish <laughs> lesson today? That was incredible. So let's say I placed three, two, four, one. Uh-huh. That... Would most likely be wrong, knowing my skills of the beef judging. Okay. But you might blame that on your teacher too. But no, never, never. I would oh, never yeah. do such a I thing. Appreciate that. So that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're right. Can anybody else add on to that a little bit? Like in livestock judging, what animals did we judge? You got to so. give reasons. Okay, so you, some of the classes you have to like talk to a judge and actually explain why you did the things that you did. We didn't have to do it this year in our uh, livestock judging contest because of COVID and we had it online this year. But at state convention here in a few weeks, those of you on the livestock judging team will have to explain to a judge why you did the things that you did. Speaking of livestock judging, one of us made it to state. Well, two. 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 But one of us got second in the entire FFA district. That's, which is what, a that's what I meant. That's pretty I meant. exceptional thing for a freshman. And I had to shave my beard in a specific way, which as a punishment. which He shaved his chin. Yeah, and it was not good. But I kept the mustache, and that was not good either. <laughs> Thank goodness you were being COVID safe and wearing that mask to cover it up. Yes, no one. If there was ever a time... To have that punishment where I had to shave my facial hair in a way that made me uncomfortable, it was this year where I had to wear a mask most of the time in the fall. So that's a good point. But, yeah, Wyatt got second overall. That's pretty impressive. Good job, Wyatt. Yeah. You're a freshman, man. How does it, ma- it make you feel? Pretty good. What an interview. Okay. <laughs> so where did we go after livestock judging? Didn't we do Montana boards? We did a fall shop project. We did our Montana boards. Um, what did we – we worked on the miter saw. We did some table saw. We did some band saw. Um, we did some painting. We did some sanding, some staining, some finish work. Some of us didn't do any finishing, though. Some of us broke their boards of no um, – not Mr. Igo's fall. Mr. Igo's fall. broke my board. Okay, so it might have been Mr. Igo's fall. That the was – First time – That was in sync. The like. first time, and they've been working on it to blame me. The first time <laughs> in four years that I've had a student not take their Montana boards home, and it was largely my fault. You're correct. And they looked dang good before I lost a Ours piece were going to be the best. No, well, they would have been if no, they, they never finished them. Uh, mm. So we mm. uh, cut some boards out in the shape of Montana and glued them all together, and they looked pretty slick when we did some dry glue fits and things, but... Uh, not all of them ended up going home, but we learned some shop skills, which is good. Where did we go after our fall shop project? We Res- made stuff out of the gym floor. Right. We ripped up some gym floor. We've talked about that on the podcast before. Um, the 80-something-year-old Marcus building gym here in Weibo. Ripped some of that up. Old maple gym floor. Made some projects out of that. Some of them are still in there. Some of them actually went home. Some of them are taped above lockers in about a quarter of the shape that they once were, but at least they're out in the world, correct, Rylan? Correct. Yeah. It looks, to to specify, that that didn't do it justice. It looks gorgeous above my locker. Locker 53 in the high school, right as you enter the doors to next to the office, you see it, and it is beautiful. I'm glad you gave directions to where someone might <laughs> locate it on Google Maps. I appreciate that, just in case they want to come find it. Maybe you'll post that on our uh, Instagram page later. We don't have an Instagram page. Uh, Snapchat story. Yeah, we've got a podcast Snapchat story that you can follow, sure. Yeah. Um, and then where do we go after those projects? Resumes. We did job interview resume type skills. We got some basic resumes built, which we'll 
work on again here at the very end of the year. Make sure your resumes are updated so that some of you can go get some summer work somewhere. Woo-woo. Some of you already have built-in summer work on the ranches that you live on, but some of us don't, which is good. Uh, and then we came back from Christmas break because that's all we got through up to Christmas break. And then what did we immediately start with? Flowers. No. Flowers. Agronomy. Oh. Flowers. Agronomy. There's, There's the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, there is flowers and range plants and crop plants in agronomy, it's I just, suppose. It's just like rainbows and clouds. There's no difference. <laughs> Getting philosophical <laughs> on the podcast today. What did we do in agronomy? We learned about different seeds and different plants. What type of seeds? Like crop uh, seeds, weed lots. seeds, a lot of crops. Crop. Okay. So give me three no. examples of some seeds that we talked about. Dry green peas. Okay, so we looked at some like peas and some field pea type stuff. What else? Lentils. Lentils. Barley. Barley, some of the grain crops. We oats. did corn. We did some oats. Malt barley. Um, pinto some barley, beans. Barley, some pinto beans, some Drops. garbanzo beans, some sunflowers. Buckwheat. Oh, now we're starting hey. to remember some stuff. And then we also did some plant ID. Choke. Give me three. Choke cherry was choke one. Cherries. Island remembers choke Grease cherry. American wood. licorice. American licorice. Curly cup gum weed. Curly cup gum weed. Leafy spurge. Leafy spurge. Some of the, like, big... Invasive weeds here in Montana. What else did we have? Western wheat grass. Okay, we had Tim. We had a lot of different range plants and some crop plants in there too. Uh, and then what else did we do? We did some soils with it. So we did some soil texturing. We did some soil triangle, trying to figure out what type of soil things are based on what are the three types of particle is in soil. Clay, Clay sand, sand, and silt. Built. Oh, wow. Look at you guys. You guys are going to be ready for the semester final. Oh. Really? <laughs> I don't give semester finals. Are you kidding me? That's another Mr. test. Mr. Johns is the only teacher that's going to give us a final, I feel like. Yeah, good luck with that. That sounds like Mr. Johns. This is Mr. Johns. Now, no. if I you ever decide be. that you want to go to college, semester finals are always a thing. I struggle with semester Why finals because it's just one more thing I have to grade at the end of the semester, and I just don't want to. Um, and then where did we go after agronomy? Flowers. Flowers. What type of flowers? Metal. Okay, so how did we do it? So you get the stuff, right? All right, Rylan explains. <laughs> what is, uh, this is my favorite segment on this podcast. Rylan <laughs> explains. Starting off the section of the podcast, Rylan explains. So... You get the sheet of metal, and you get these little metal rod sticks. I don't know what to call them. They're, they're, yep, called metal rods. Rod okay. So we used a plasma cutter to cut out five types of petals, I guess. So you hand cut them with the plasma cutter, right? Yes, and yeah. we drew them out with a chalk-like sub- substance. What is that chalk-like substance called? Anybody remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. All right, uh, Wyatt just brought his in and slammed it on the table. I don't remember what that chalk was. So. So. Stone. Saltstone. Soapstone. Soapstone. Okay, so chalk like Riley. soapstone. Okay. We drew it out with soapstone. Soapstone. Uh huh. And uh, we cut out these, pe- these petals, right? And we put them in a forge, and then we could bend the petals to our will. But uh, and then you drill the hole through the middle of them, uh-huh. and then you stuck them on the the metal rod yeah. that we talked about earlier, and then yeah. you welded them together. Okay, what type of metal were we using? Iron. Steel. Steel. Say it with me. Steel. S T E E L. All right. A spelling with Ryland here today on the podcast. We got just so you guys know when you like heat up metal. It burns you if you touch it. Yeah, it turns out when it's red hot, it also uh, will hurt if you touch it. Who knew? We've got another another fax fan here. (laughs) (laughs) When you touch hot metal, it hurts. It hurts. Back with Abby. (laughs) Uh, Okay, so we bent some petals. How many petals went on your flower, by the way? Five. Five. Four petals, and then we add the sepal, which was that little bottom part, and then I made you guys put some... uh, leaves on there and 
Anybody paint theirs? Nope. No one painted theirs? You didn't give us the option. That's yeah, he a lie. did. I absolutely did. No, you didn't. I don't remember. I remember. I promise you I did. Um, that was probably when you guys were trying to shove each other into a big cardboard box that you weren't that paying attention. That was awesome. Actually, that we, was were, fun. we were shoving one person in there. Yeah. Well, let's not talk about it anymore because <laughs> then this is going to go on the internet for oh. people to know, and I will uh, hopefully not get fired from this podcast, but we, it's an entirely possible outcome. Uh, and then where did we go from the metal flower? Meat. Meat. We judging. moved into some meat science, meat judging. We talked a little bit about... <laughs> Um, some meat ID. We talked about uh, parts. We talked about uh, how to cook things and why we care. We went to Glendive and did a meat judging contest for FFA, and you guys got to bring home some prizes, and we cooked some of them up. What did each of you bring home from that contest after you judged? Uh, short ribs, but they are uh, they're gone now. Well, short. some of us cooked them, and some of us couldn't come up with an exact plan to give Mr. Egg on how to cook them. I will cook burgers Okay, to make up for that point. That's okay. Uh, so Ryland got short ribs. What did you get, Riley? Bacon. Bacon, and we cooked your bacon, but uh, it didn't look very good. It looked more gray, so we kind of tossed it. It didn't actually smell good either. Uh, Birch, what did you have? Blank steak. Okay, Birch cooked his up, and what did we learn about cooking uh, meat that day, Birch? Uh, you got to leave it on there a little longer. Yeah, you need to make sure that the internal temperature is actually, if you want to cook it to medium, what temperature, Birch? 130, 140, something like medium that. Medium is like actually about 150. Oh, I wanted rare, so... Oh, okay. You were going for rare. Well, you were Burgess going really rare. It was rare because it was mooing when he took it out of that <laughs> pan. I said, Mr. Igo, it's good. And I said, Are you sure? He said, Yep, this is how I like it. And he cut into it and it looked like it just came fresh off the cow. So uh, we talked a little bit about how to effectively cook meat as well. And some of us learned the lesson the hard way. But luckily, it was a piece of meat that you won and not something you paid for. Uh, Wyatt, what did you get to bring home? And you didn't get to cook yours either, but. Round steak. It was a bottom round steak, wasn't it? I think so. Uh, was it a round steak or was it just a bottom round? I think it was bottom round. I think it was just a bottom round, right? Uh, it was a big old chunk of meat there. And uh, Wyatt never got to cook his either because he was gone a couple days. And uh, it, was, it was more like a. More than what we could do in an hour, probably, which is the same with Ryland's. Cooking ribs is not a 45-minute process, is it, Ryland? We discovered. Do what? If you do burgers on a grill. Burgers can be. Yep. And then, Abby, what did you get to bring home? A loin steak. A loin steak. Yeah, we weren't exactly sure what yours was because it wasn't labeled because it came from a uh, private butcher. But it was pretty good once we cooked that up and... Yeah, put some seasoning on there and made sure it was actually cooked all the way through. And it was pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, that's because I cooked it. But that's because I was broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were broken at that point. Uh, where did we go after meat judging? Oh. That well, we're we're here right now, and we are going to be doing stools and state FFA. Yeah, we're moving into our spring shop project here. Um, so we're going to move on to stools, which is what I do every year with freshmen in Intro to Ag. So we started working on it the other day. We just unloaded lumber from the school suburban. We've got State FFA convention coming up next week. Woo-woo. Most of you are going to that. It's going to be in Billings. In-person event. Pretty Whoa. big deal in the year of COVID. Pretty exciting. We're going to go tour some colleges, um, do some other little trips in between. Some of us aren't going to be there the whole time, but some of us We'll be there the whole time. It'll be a good thing. Uh, and you get out of school for three days next week. What an adventure. What an adventure. Um, so we've got some things coming up here, and it's going to be a short spring, 32 days left, and I'm already looking at the calendar going, I'm really only going to be in school like 20-ish of those days by the time I'm gone for things and by the time you guys are gone for track and golf and – AU basketball. It's almost over. Yeah, it's almost over. We're almost sophomores. Oh, boy. Isn't that crazy? You guys are almost sophomores. Are you ready? No. No. Why not? I want to stay a freshman. Same. Why? 
Who wants to graduate? Well, you don't graduate as a sophomore, so. Yeah, but you're one year closer. <laughs> That's true. But you're also one year closer to, like, some freedom, too. But also responsibilities. Yes. Oh, Taxes. responsibility. Well, I can't do that. <laughs> Taxes. Uh, if you have a job and you're making over $12,000 a year, you should be paying taxes anyways. Actually, if you have a job with a real paycheck, you should be paying taxes and getting back everything if you don't make over 12000 Taxes. Damn, taxes are easy. I don't know why people stress about taxes so much. Like, you put it, your employer gives you the turbo tax or the tax information stuff. You put that in the free version of turbo tax, you're good to go. Taxes are not that hard. It's just a bunch of numbers you have to put into a computer. Until you have, like, a whole family. Yeah. Well, you guys are not at that point, hopefully. No, but my mom was sitting there yesterday on Saturday. And yeah, was doing when you taxes start getting and she was... multiple incomes in a household and you've got kids and you got businesses and side businesses and everything else, uh, yeah, taxes can get a little complicated. I always remember in April, my parents were always stressed for about two weeks doing our taxes. But as a young, single adult... I barely have anything to worry about. I just put the numbers in and commit tax fraud every year, and I'll probably go to jail here <laughs> just a few years from it. But, hey. Do you really want to put that on the podcast? No, I don't commit tax fraud. Give me, I don't make enough money to commit tax fraud. All right. All right. You really are not afraid for – you're afraid to become sophomores or you don't want to? Yes. I don't want to. Like, Yet again, I didn't want to become a freshman. Here we are. Here Honestly, we are. sometimes – I miss junior high. Why? Just, I don't know. Less work. It, what have you guys noticed about the jump up in the expectations from junior high to freshman year? It was like taking a step that was an extra two feet tall. So I honestly have to okay. agree. For so the most part. For some reason, the staircase had a big section cut out of it, and you had to make a big leap up, and you weren't ready for it, maybe? Yeah. Have you... A, become better accustomed to it do you feel like you're more comfortable with the workload now no sir i think sophomore year is the toughest year for a lot of people because sophomore year you can't really see the light at the end of the tunnel yet like junior year you start to see the light at the end of the tunnel a little bit you get a little bit more freedom in some of the classes you can take senior year obviously um senioritis sets in and you definitely see the light at the end of the tunnel freshman year still kind of new and fresh and Still kind of interesting, but sophomore year is a tough year for a lot of people. But luckily, you are so lucky that you have a fantastic class advisor. Yeah. Miss Harold. Oh, me. (laughs) That's right. You got two pretty good class advisors. Uh, But I clearly am the reason all of you are successful. I'm not going to take any blame for your failures. really cocky. Any of your successes, I will take credit for. Any of your failures, that's solely on you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, let's do some questions here. We're already at minute 23 of the podcast, folks. Wow. Uh, so we're doing some would you rathers today. Would you rather go back to age five with everything you know now or now know everything your future self will learn? Go back to age five. So go back to age five knowing everything you know now or be stuck at your current knowledge level for the rest of your life. Go back to age five. Why? Uh... Wait, go back to age five and, like, learn things? So you know everything you know now, but you'd have to relive the past ten years of your life, and you can learn more, but you have to go back to being a little baby that, like, can't do some things for yourself or, like, parents. But you also know everything. But you know a lot of stuff. That's true. That's ten more years of being a kid. Of course I'd want to go back to being five. But, like, people treat you still like you're five. I'd want to be a kid. Uh, Or, like... Well, you could spell. Sorry, if you could spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious in front of everyone and then show you. Spell that. I, do you know how to do that at age fifteen? S. Actually. No, we're not doing. Yeah. <laughs> um, what about like you guys? Those of you that have your driver's license, you couldn't drive to like go hang out or go to practice or whatever. You still, Mom, can I go to my friend's house? Oh, please. I'm like she'd that have to now. drive you. Oh. <laughs> You're like that now. Oh, yeah, Abby just played a sound. I'll leave that up. Well, feel it like was. You need to play a sound. It said disappointed, oh. and I was really disappointed in that sound. So. Oh, that's yeah, probably more what you were looking for. Uh, what about you? 
Wyatt, would you rather go back to age five or? Okay, Birch. Age five. Age five. Oh. Um. Yeah, you're on the podcast too. Uh, I'd probably stay here. Would you? I would stay here too. Ah, see, I, I don't want to go back and then like know everything I know, but not be able to do it. That would be tough, but I like I'm lucky that I am practically a genius at this point in my life. So like I would here probably, we go again. <laughs> I would hate to not have the ability to learn more because I love learning. Like I love learning about new things. Like I look at Wikipedia articles about random stuff all the time. I want to be able to. Wikipedia is not like you never know if that's right. Uh, anymore, it's pretty factual. But and if, like if you go, you're, you don't always know. For sure. If you go without learning for the rest of your life at 15 years old or 16, depending on some of you, mm-hmm. and then how you can figure out new math problems? I see. I, I won't do math. That's, that's <laughs> tough. Uh, let's see. Ooh, no, that, that's not good for a podcast. Uh... Would you rather always be 10 minutes late or always be 20 minutes early? 20 minutes early. 20 minutes early. 20 minutes early. 10 minutes late because then I could make a joke saying the traffic was a nightmare. You don't even have your license yet. How would you do that? 20 minutes early. I'm 20 minutes early too. What if it was two hours early? Would you rather be 10 minutes late or two hours early? Two hours two early. Two hours early. I don't like to be late. I'm, I'm always not- like, when it comes to, like, meetings and stuff, like, I cannot stand being late. Because it makes me feel like I failed, and I hate failure. And then, So when we make fun of you when you're running into the school for that meeting that's on Wednesday hey, mornings? I make it to the school at 745, because that, that's what time I'm supposed to be here. Okay. I'm here earlier than that. Now, Unless. when I come back from lunch, sometimes I might be a couple minutes late back from lunch, but it's because I'm doing my teacherly lunch duties. Too I'm, much fun with your bros. Yeah. Probably chatting at the table for too long. Uh, would you rather lose the ability to read or lose the ability to speak? Read. 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 That's extremely hard. For it me. is hard. I love reading, but I also love talking. I like talking more than reading. I could just be like, hey, Mr. Igo, what's that say? I just listen to audiobooks. I could do audio books. That would work. Or you could listen to this podcast. Oh, not if you want to get smarter. Oh. <laughs> not be able to read, I guess. Uh, that's probably what I choose, too, because I, I like talking, and I think that's important, because you can always listen to an audio book. Um, oh, my goodness. Some of these are super. Would you rather move to a new city or town every week or never be able to leave the city or town? You, you already know the answer in? to a lot of these. But I want to know. Would you rather move to a new city or town, let's even make it every five years, or never leave the town you were born in? Can do it. I, can, I don't even want to move once. Wait, so wait, I would have wait, to live wait. in Glendive? Yeah, I'd have to live in Dickinson. Yep. I would move every in. five years. Move every five 100%. years. 100%. Every five years. I'd stay here. You were born in Weibo? Oh. That Say, makes it really tough. Yeah, you should just make it where we live nope. now. Nope, where you were born. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not living in Dickinson, so I'd move every five years. Why? Dickinson's the stupidest town ever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> why? Dickinson's a nice town. We do not uh, endorse what he has spoken. Hashtag canceled. Uh, <laughs> what about you, Wyatt? Where were you? you were born in Glendive, weren't you? Helena? Oh, yeah, my goodness. You'd rather move or would you rather stay in Helena? I'd rather stay. You'd rather be in Helena. Yeah. Helena is a fairly decent-sized town. Uh, it's 45 or 50. You think 000. Wyatt would fit in there? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think truly all of you could fit in just about anywhere you want. Truly, I think it's that you guys are just so comfortable in a small town because you're never forced to Riley wants to try move. to be anything else. That she wants to move in general. I know. And that's that's cool, honestly. Like I I appreciate people that want to go see other parts of the world and experience other things. I will you can go always visit. come back. You can always come back to Weibo or a small town wherever you're from. And that's 
a small town big idea, some people might Whoa. say. Uh, you can always come back to your small town hometown. But there is so much rest of the world that you need to experience and go be part of. And just oh, visiting on vacation is not enough. Well, I'm sorry. I don't want to go move to Paris, Mr. I didn't say Paris. But why couldn't you live in Dickinson? Why it's couldn't you live big, in Fargo? Big city. Dickinson is not well, big. It is to us. I, I know it is big to you. But, like, the rest of the world, to the rest of the world, a town of twelve to 15,000 is nothing. You can mark my words. I will never move back to Glendive. And that's fine. But would you ever live in, like, Billings? Maybe in college. Or a Fargo. Not or a Fargo. Denver. Traffic. Denver is big. Denver isn't big? or it is. is. Oh, Denver is big. It's too big for me, I think. But you could live in one of the outlying cities. I feel uncomfortable when we go there to visit. Why do you think you guys... Do you all feel uncomfortable in big cities when you go? Yes. yes. I feel like you, you looked like... Just because we we come from a small town, we dress a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I, people stare at you and they're like, no, who are you? The people in Denver don't dress any different. They're wearing jeans and a sweatshirt just like you they're are. They're wearing, wearing crop tops. So, don't do that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, I kind of wear a blue coat everywhere. Yeah. You do wear a blue coat everywhere. Does Even everyone wear a blue coat everywhere? No. I guarantee bathroom, there's people the in Denver street. that wear a blue coat everywhere. The city's well. got a million plus people in it. That yeah. area's got a million big. plus people. It is big, but like I that's one of the my biggest complaints with small town people. And that's not a I'm not trying to make fun of you, I'm not trying to be mean, but like you guys just get so comfortable with not having to put yourselves in uncomfortable situations or situations that are new. And that's not good. Uh, my personal viewpoint. We could talk about that. Could be a whole episode of a podcast. We'll get one. Would I'm you willing stop to move somewhere stuff? else. You're but I would say somewhere. that I'd end up back here. Uh, let's see. Let's go find one random one here. We'll make it our last one of the podcast. Would you rather live in a cave or live in a tree house? Tree house. Treehouse. 100%. Treehouse, treehouse, cave or treehouse? Cave. Cave? Uh, probably treehouse. Treehouse? Treehouse. I'd rather live in a cave. A cave is much more sturdy and provides Have you seen better... the treehouses the treehouse masters make? Have you seen some They're of the like underground houses, houses that you can make a bunker in a cave? No. Trees can be chopped down. You are a single man. <laughs> What's that have to do with anything? Oh, my phone's ringing. Ring. You guys keep talking about caves or tree houses. Birch, what? cave or tree house? He said, I said tree house. Why? Yellow. Uh, it just sounds cooler than a cave. That's not a very... That's good. right. Uh, Why? Because it's cooler in the no. It's cooler in the summer. But you get no wind. Yeah, exactly. It's not like you it's don't leave the cave. You can go out to get groceries or milk or bread. <laughs> Ryan, you could totally <laughs> be in the croods. <laughs> Bro, I'd love to be in the croods. You guys seen that movie? The croods? No. You no. haven't seen the croods? No, Ryan Ryland. could totally be that oldest boy in the croods. <laughs> We're talking about the croods now? Yeah. Rylan, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> don't cry. Don't seen, cry. I've never seen the croods. We either. should have Rylan do a fax with Rylan before we leave. Oh, sure. Let's get one fax with Rylan, and then we'll fade out on the podcast here. Grass is green. Fax with yeah. Rylan. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here on Small Town Big Ideas. Find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, anywhere you would find other podcasts. Thanks for joining us. 